In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite hiking area in Petroglyph National Monument, Piedras Marcadas Canyon. If you missed last week's video, I gave a general overview of the National Monument and I explored Rinconada Canyon and Boca Negra Canyon. Link down in the description box. This area is located six miles north of the visitor center. And from a local perspective, this is the area I recommend you visit. So believe it or not, this area of Petroglyph National Monument is actually tucked away in a little neighborhood right off the main road. You would never know that there's a national monument through here. There's just this little parking lot tucked away behind a Valvoline with a Walgreens across the street. So this trail, Piedras Marcadas, actually means marked rock. And it was discovered um, around 1600 for some of the settlers in this area, the Albuquerque area. The trail is one and a half miles long. When you enter this trail, you'll notice an entry sign and straight ahead will be a big hill and to the left is where you can visit the petroglyphs. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you where you can find some amazing views of the city and I'll also show you one of the most amazing sunsets I've seen in a long time. So this is a one and a half mile loop through this canyon with the petroglyphs right behind me. There's about 400 petroglyphs in this particular canyon that you can hike. So archaeologists that study these types of petroglyphs say that you should also take note of the direction they're facing. Um, that they're not just randomly placed on these rocks. There is some significance in which direction they're facing. Maybe they're facing other parts of the monument, other rocks. Maybe it has to do with um, the position of the stars. I don't know, but I find that very fascinating. I'm trying to be very true to my statement that said I was not going to take any photographs depicting the human form. And in this area, it's kind of tough. There are a ton, a ton of petroglyphs back here. And uh, I got to be careful where I point my camera. So there's a fair amount of people here today. It's New Year's Day 2021. And um, just keep in mind at this particular trail, there's no facilities at the trailhead. There's no restroom. There's just a really small parking lot. And so you're on your own here. Um, and it's about several miles from the visitor center, maybe five to eight miles, I forget exactly. Uh, but that's okay, it has easy access. Um, really easy to get to, depends on where you're staying, but this is a great place to come. You can see the petroglyphs pretty quickly after you start walking this trail. So after this second canyon where you can get right up close to the petroglyphs, I seem to have lost the designated path. Now it doesn't matter, I don't need to worry about getting lost. We have a neighborhood on one side, just follow the ridge back. Uh, but I just wanted to make note of that. There's just a kind of a lot of loose sandy trails and like a little drainage ditch. So you just kind of wander your way along the ridge line.
So just look for these little posts and that'll tell you where the designated trail is. You'll find it eventually. So there's some people hiking way up on top of the petroglyphs. Let's see if I can figure out how to get up there. I'm entering the last loop at Piedras Mercadas Canyon. Hope I'm saying that right. And it's warming up. The tides today are only in the 40s, but I find with the sun and the exercise, you don't really need too many layers to stay warm. And I think I showed you some footage, but the trails are quite sandy, pretty thick sand. So this is not a hiking trail for strollers or it's not handicapped accessible. But we're reaching the end and nature calls, which always happens to me. Let's get real, okay, for people who want to visit this area. So when I head back, I'm going to leave and find some lunch place to do my business and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go up on the hill when you first entered there was a big hill of lava rock and the sign actually said that that was not the petroglyph trail but I'm very curious what's up there and I'm sure there's some beautiful uh, views of the city so I'm going to make it up there next but now we're going to see the very last leg of the close-up petroglyphs okay I made it to the end and there's actually quite a few human-like depictions in this area so I'm going to turn the camera the other way, but look at the beautiful views of Albuquerque. Let me tell you, I hope to come back here near sunset. This is neat. So I lied when I said that was the end. There was one more bend around the corner that I didn't know. So I'm still taking one last tour. There's a lot to see here in this canyon. Lots of twists and turns. I think this would be a little more exciting for a visiting rather than Rinconada Canyon. If you only had to pick just a couple, that would be my choice. Um, I'm really liking this canyon for walking around. Okay, I thought I was near the end and I thought it was gonna loop back and there seems to be this uh, walkway that goes up this hill. So I'm gonna go up here and see where it takes me. So there's several access points into this uh, area from the various neighborhoods and this seems to be leading me farther west. Um, I don't think this is a loop that's going to go all the way around back to where I parked. I didn't do a full amount of research so I am going to head back the way I came uh, because I'm ready to eat lunch. Time to head back. I came back this evening. I'm hoping to see a good sunset, but it's cloudy, so I'm not sure what we're gonna see, but we're gonna go ahead up this trail this evening. So this is quite steep. Well, I'm up here at the top and it's beautiful, it's quiet. There's a few people walking that live in the neighborhood out walking their dogs. I did actually see a coyote, um, but it ran off in a different direction. And I was waiting for the sunset, but this is a really cloudy, overcast sky, so I don't think it's going to happen. You can see the volcanoes and the sun setting behind me. Here are the volcanoes that are now dormant. They're responsible for all the lava rock. Way up on the hillside, let's see. The very top, let's see if I can pick it, right there, right there, all along here are all volcanoes. You can see the volcanoes and the sun setting behind me. And then there's also hot air balloons in the air today. And Rainbow Riders is the company that gives, you know, that you can purchase balloon rides. If you ever want to put that on your bucket list, Albuquerque is definitely the place to do it. It's a beautiful place to see the city. It does close at sunset, so I'm just sitting here waiting for the sun to set to see if we get any 
spectacular views. So it's very unusual to have a fully overcast day in Albuquerque and it was getting quite chilly. So I had started to give up on the sunset and I headed back to the car. And as soon as I sat down in the car, the skies lit up on fire. So here's the surprise park I found where you can access the petroglyphs right here with amazing sunsets. This is unreal. I thought for sure I had missed the sunset when I was up on that ledge. And as soon as I got back to my car, it turned amazing so I found this park. 